All right, so this first app is this beautiful collection of AI generated wallpapers. Very unique, all super crisp quality. And yeah, you're probably not going to find them anywhere else. And just look at all that detail. If this doesn't tell you how amazing these walls are, then I don't know what will. There's like a huge freaking library of so many wallpapers in here that every time you open, you'll be tempted to try and see all of them. All these wallpapers are very beautifully organized into categories for easy referencing. And so depending on what you're in the mood for, you can pick up something from here. But unfortunately, it is a paid app. And I do have 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. And all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to Wallstone. I'll hand them out to you first come first serve basis. Now, you know, different phones have different universal searches. And depending on which manufacturer skin you're using, the experience can vary. But I've found a great replacement for that. Pixel search. And this is truly universal search. For example, I could just write a name of a song and say search on YouTube music or search for a video real quick on YouTube. Or I could quickly uh, like, you know, enter a restaurant name and look it up on maps to get directions really quick. It gets better. I can even search for a file that's kept on my phone, which by the way, may show up with a thumbnail if it's an image. I could obviously look up contacts and apps by directly searching for them. So yeah, all of these things are possible with Pixel Search. And what's cool is that it doesn't matter which phone you're using. You can set it up to be launched by double tapping the power button or place a widget on your home screen or even set it up as your default assistant. Next, I've actually found a tool that can recommend movies to you based on your mood or how you want to feel. Now, it is not an app, but it surely acts like one. So go to moveme.tv and now you can type an emotion. For example, I could write curious. Or better yet, you can even just enter an emoji like mind blown. And when you hit search, you will then get AI based recommendations of titles that match that emotion. But this list can be huge and you can actually tighten it by going into filters and then you can just narrow down basis recency and the IMDB rating. So that is phenomenal. And obviously you then get even tighter recommendations. And by the way, the IMDB ratings are mentioned right there. Oh, and by the way, you can also filter out subscription services that you don't use. And so that way you're certain you're only getting recommendations that you can actually watch based on the subscriptions you've got. And if you do want to know more about a title, uh, you can just click on info. It'll tell you how long is the movie, which platforms it's available on. And if you do start clicking on whether you've seen something or not, the recommendations actually get better with time. As I said, it is nothing short of an app. Now, this next app is called AeroDocs, and it's a very simple app that helps you organize your important documents in a very organized manner. So it's very quick for you to access. You want to add a document, tap on plus, you get these three options to store that document here. Very simple. Now, you might say that you can do all of this using the regular file manager on your phone. Sure, but there's something different that this app can do. Let me show you. So let's say I've got my ID card here. And if I swipe up from bottom here, you see that there's no information right now, right? It's absolutely clean. But if I click on auto scan, the AI will read that document and it will present all of that information for me so that it's readily available. And I can just copy any of this and paste it wherever I want, making it very easy for me to access this information and share it. And by the way, I can create more folders uh, like invoices, you know, fuel receipts and so on. Now, this next app is like a handyman for your phone. It's called Tooly and it offers these different kind of tools that helps cut off number of steps required to do something on your phone. Like, let's say you want to quickly resize a photo. You could just choose the size and boom, done. Or you want a rounded image from within a photo. Very easy with this tool. It also has a color picker tool that lets you pick a color from any image that's in your gallery. So you get the hex code and you've got that color. There are various unit converters across, you know, dimension, energy, time, temperature, data, and many other variables if you want to have fun with that. Or even useful text tools uh, that lets you find and replace text or remove empty spaces or line breaks. Or even, you know, convert regular text into something more funky, unique, and fun to share with uh, your friends. It's also got this, you know, spin the bottle thing or a lucky wheel that you could spin to reach a consensus amongst disagreeing friends. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll have beer. As I said, the app is called Tooly and it's completely free for you to download.
And lastly is this app called Positional. It's a great looking app that gives you a couple of tools that could be handy. For example, a leveler. It will tell you whether you know, your table or your frame is lined up or straight. Uh, for example, I use this to level my tripod head absolutely straight and parallel to the ground. Very easy, very handy. Okay, then it's also got this built-in compass uh, that's super responsive, it's accurate, and frankly, uh, I just think it looks absolutely stunning. Now, there's also this time segment, and while there are various kind of clock styles included here, it's actually uh, this information that could be useful. For example, when will the sun rise or set? Uh, what time will the moon be visible? At which angle? What brightness? So, yeah. Now, I agree that the use case for this is very rare, but for those rare moments, I think it's great information. The app will also let you switch between light and dark modes, as well as give you a choice of color accents as well. So it's got a couple of colors and let me just show you actually, you could just go into settings, accent colors, and yeah, all of these are visible and all of them are accessible for absolutely free. The app is called Position. All right, that's it guys. Those were the top app for the month of June, 2023. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.